All right, two things I can say right off the bat is this is the second video I made for this. I'm glad I did because I'm adding a wrinkle for the rules for me. And the second thing is this is the second time I've dropped the camera fairly hard. This time when I turned it back on, um, it was all cloudy. I was like, oh my God, please, no, no, no. I really like this camera. Yeah, the very first time I used it, um, I dropped it and then it was like in a super weird slow-mo like I was like grabbing it felt and then it hit the ground and the when I open up the flap essentially sometimes it doesn't turn on so there's uh, what a drag all right let's get towards the game here yeah the first vi video it was just horrible lighting so this is kind of like the opening um, Part for uh, Verdun in Der, in Der Velkrieg. Well, obviously not the entire bit, but just the north, uh, northern part where the Brits were and the Belgians. But you can see these red bingo chits. I'm doing an isolated uh, thing. I, like I've just decided this is it. Because I want, I'm essentially, I just want to see what my new CRT and uh, also a little bit of command and control um, issues for the Great War happens in kind of like a real world setting if you want to call it that so the red bingo chits are no-go zones also each side are not getting any more reinforcements or new supply or any of that nonsense the other bit or change would have been is that there should be a french army and some french troops in between uh these guys otherwise i'm using essentially the same setup i was doing with the uh the brits uh, there's Ypres, there's Lille, and for the Germans, I essentially just um, took a look very quickly and was like, okay, I'm going to make everybody equal uh, across the board, which ends up coming to a basically, I've got, I get three armies here for the Germans. They all have 25 supply points each. Uh, every Each uh, German army has some artillery. They've all got some reserves. Like I said, you got what you get kind of thing. This is it. I'm also the other, well, the ma major command and control issue for both sides is going to be you cannot, um, well, t there's going to be a few, you cannot transfer supply points to another army, you cannot supply uh, transfer any units to another army, just for now, just let me, just let me play my little, wor uh, whatever, and you can also, if you're going to combine an attack, Every, remember, I'm using a D12 system and column shifts. So, for example, let's say I've got, uh, you can see here, the, here's the pink, pink, orange, orange, green, green, I hope, uh, gray, purple, whitish, and some kind of teal or something. Okay, just let's just go with it. So let's say the Brits decide we're going to all mount a joint attack, three different armies, Remember, this is the Great War time, 1916, man. Brits are still learning. We're going to mount an attack 60 kilometers across, three different armies on the same spot. You expect everything to go perfectly okay. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Not going to happen. That's the way I'm doing it. However, so uh, you've now done three different armies attacking one hex, I'm going to say, okay, fine, count up all your strength points, you can fully supply, that's lovely. Uh, guess what? Um, I'm going to also shift you over to uh, two column shifts due to the fact that you're using three different armies. I don't see why not. I don't see any problem with that. They were all the same, like three different uh, cores, but at the same army. For me, that's all right, because that's um, uh, good. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's the way I'm doing that bit. Um, I don't think there's anything else to really tell you. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to um, uh, do my stuff. Uh, the Brits go first. Um, and we'll see. The only, I think the only other wrinkle is uh, because I'm not uh, dealing with stacking limits in the sense of six divisions right now. The way I'm going to do it is what... This is all written on paper anyways, but I'm still using Alberto markers and whatnot. Um, is that, like I said, it's still going to be the, the same, you know, uh, cost four supply points for, uh, I mean, one supply point for 
four strength points for an attack, etc., etc. Artillery is, you know, worse. Um, I'm not allowed to bring my reserve units into uh, the front until um, a certain percentage goes down. In other words, you know, once 10 is down, then I can bring 10 in kind of thing, if you get the idea. I'm not going to, I just want to keep things simple. I also don't, um, don't want to get into this micromanagey bit at this level, if that makes sense. I want to um, focus my attention on uh, other issues at this level. I just want to see. Um, it could fall apart super quick. I have no idea. But um, <laughs> this is probably out of the ones I want to um, uh, excited about playing is probably this one, to be honest with you, because I just want to, I'm just, uh, and I know it's going to be like, it's almost like I want to bend the rules. I almost feel like one of those um, royalty whatever's playing um, um, Kriegspiel or whatever way back in the day. And you're like, well, things aren't going uh, the way it's supposed to. I want it to go. So let's bend the rules. And it's like, you know, well, that was, you know, you're missing the whole point of why you're, you know, play testing or playing. All right. Hope you're having fun, man. I certainly flipping am.